The chain just f***ed off. Let's roast this Roast I got kidnapped, just f***ing shoot me in the head. Where are we going today? Paris! So, I'm cycling to France. 220 miles, roughly 360 kilometers, if in case you can't read, miles, that is. And, um, should be fun. My team of seven, Red and Uni, in no particular order, consists of Callum, team leader, Sylvia, Aaron, Dan, Sam, Tom, and of course myself, alongside of 67 other riders from other unis around the UK. Our starting point is a sports complex located at the not so London Walton on Thames, which is actually in Surrey. And from there, we we'll take the really hilly, but very picturesque South Downs to Portsmouth, where we will take a quick shower, grab a bite, and a little freedom before taking an overnight ferry across the channel to Caen, which is in France. From Caen, it is the longest stretch of the journey. We will cycle to the French town of Everus, which is just outside Paris, because we don't want to die of fatigue. Day 3 features the final hurdle to the finish line in Paris that is right in front of the Eiffel Tower. And personally, I think I'm perfectly competent and I'm a good rider. I've been doing practice for months now um, and I've got a really good lifestyle. And just to make myself suffer and you guys happy, uh, I've done no planning so far. Sounds like a rookie mistake, innit? So it's now almost quarter to 11. Checked in hotel. I've done my planning, sort of. I've got my breakfast ready. I've got all my outfits ready. And I know I shouldn't be doing this, but I just got to sleep, you know, team GNT. You gotta love GNT, do you know what I mean? After a series of health and safety briefings and the disappointing realisation that I didn't get a hangover when I wake up at precisely 8.31, 31 minutes later than scheduled, we set off. Oops, sorry, mate. Shit is about to go down. People have seen two clothes, that means for sure. Yep. A few miles down the road, I finally got a chance to have a closer look at the bike I've chosen for the journey. So this is my weapon of choice then. It's a radical Rivera. 1.1, I've got no clue what that means to me. Because I'm a car guy, I'm not a bike, 100%. Uh, it's, it's, got, it's got a gearbox, two bells. Uh, it's a seven speed on there. And, um, camera gears, my compass, not the best choice when it comes to long journey. Bottle fell off uh, after a few potholes. So, um, and I broke it. So, um, great start. And as a man of culture, I cannot resist the temptation to go fast. Ah! Yes! All the way now. All the way. I must be going like 40 now. The speed limit is 30, but I don't give a shit! However, there's a catch. Guys, alright? We've just we've been with one of the other guys. He's taking the wrong way. We're going back up. Oh. You haven't. You haven't. Go on, come back. Right, right, I've just been informed that we're going the wrong way, so we have to go all the way back up. Fuck. I'm not pushing it. I'm riding up. I'm riding up there. Alright, I will. Like millions of hills. You alright? Uh, no. 
<laughs> nah, not, not stopping. <laughs> right, go on then. <laughs> the ride so far has been really challenging. There are many climbs in that, but then we all cheered up when we found out that our team leader Legs went missing because it was late for the start Time in the morning. I mean, you're filming the floor. Oh, yeah. Oh, not, is it floor? It's gravel, mate. Uh, where were you this morning? Like all of us were wondering. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was pretty much at the front and we got to a few hills, um, and then I kind of was waiting a little bit. The front. <laughs> and it, um, so yeah, I got to the front, um, and then when I started getting down a hill, I started to get a real big pace on, and pretty much had to sit here for an hour and a few pints. And before we knew, it's lunchtime, so everyone stopped by to check out the progress. <laughs> We've done pretty much two thirds of the journey of this leg here. I feel very. We're going to go to Portsmouth there, last stretch. Yeah. Lots of uphill, we'll see how it goes. But then, after just 200 meters on the road. Right, just after lunch. Five miles down, I guess, from the park. And the chain just fucked off. It was fucked up again. Chain came off and Charlie is fixing it for me. <laughs> Legend. Right. Cheers. Okay. Is it done? Okay, I think it might be. Let's fast forward a few hours. <laughs> yeah, everyone's dead. <laughs> Hello. Shit. Now we're turning right. And we'll begin our long descent. Clear. And so we're approaching Portsmouth at speed. What are we doing here? I don't know, but I'm fucking bored of it. Yep, someone's fucking bored of it. We're trying to board a fucking um, channel ferry. And my team is dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to vlog, that's all. Everyone just looks at me and being like, what's that? What's this guy doing here? Woke up super early morning. It's ridiculous. Don't know why. I had to force to do that. Um, I'm trying to queue up for breakfast. And it's going to be a long day. Fingers crossed, it's going to be alright. Mate, do you know it's still got a tag on? Uh, it's still got a tag on in your back. Uh, alright, see ya. Since we're in Kane, we pulled over by the bridge, which played an important part in defeating the Nazis on D-Day, or Operation Overlord if you're a bit of a history nerd. And so we decided to ride across it to pay tribute to those who lost their lives when fighting for freedom. Right, that was great fun. What happened was us going round that corner um, at uh, moderate speed and um, I hit the curb there. I scraped it and um, now I've got a puncture. Woohoo! At least I'm doing it right then. Now that my front wheel is back in place, Paris is back on site and I've got hours of pure fun <laughs> and speed to look forward to. Whoa, mate! Mate, mate, don't do it! You've got to fuck it! I'm warning you now. Hill. Uh, I can't use my left pedal because uh, basically for road bike you've got essentially two gearboxes. One for forward, going faster, one for climbing. But climbing was fucked. 
so I can't use it. Luckily for me, what goes up must come down. I managed to swiftly rejoin the convoy upon my next descent. You may ask, what does 12 hours and 140 kilometers on a bike get you? Well, we've arrived at our overnight spot, Oveveru, and to top it off, we decide to go grab dinner, because that's all we've got the energy for. So, one last day, one more shot, then we're sorted. A little bit of situation update, yesterday I've got one puncher, and uh, my chain came off four times, which is great fun. I fucked my knee up yesterday, so I can't really go for the fast club, can I? All I'm going to do is to try and stick with the group and um, try not to get lost on the way to Paris. Where are we going today? Paris! Paris! We indeed set off on the high note, but pretty soon things started to go downhill, all the way down. That's a massive, massive drop, didn't it? There you go then. Land the paracycling is fine, isn't it? Still got water in there. And that's good. Sort of works, there you go. Thank you, France. Keep going. Thank you so much. The walking bus prevails. Oh yeah. Make sure everyone's pushing. After almost 300 kilometers, I'm not stopping now. The tough climb is followed by a long stretch of the downhill section, and it is nothing short of glorious. energy the final approach some of us have teamed up to slipstream a tactic often used by cyclists bmw and audi drivers by tailgating and using the person in front as a cover for less air resistance very clever right as we're on the home stretch we really want to get it done as soon as possible we want to give it 100 percent but as usual, as you're about to see, I've overcooked it. Right. What do you think, man? I just saved you, did I? Yeah, you saved me. What happened is that we're just like, what? How far are we from Paris right now? We're in Paris. We're in, yeah, probably in the outskirts. No, we're in the, the outskirts. There you go then. So we've arrived at Paris. But I just got a puncher. I, scra I scraped the curb. He's on the road. Here we go. You ready? Good puncher. Yep. Boom. 
out it goes. Second puncture. Right, I've just got myself some souvenir. I'm just gonna enjoy it, bro. Also, where are we now? Greater Paris, there you go, we made it! We're going to the Eiffel Tower. Woo! Fear coming! She's just wanted to come in. Yes, she's got an award. What was the award? I don't actually know what the award was. Rider of the Day. Rider of the Day. Yesterday. Rider of the Day, yeah. One of the most Why did you win that award? Because I uh, pushed my leg even though it's classic. <laughs> there you go, it's alright. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but now we turn our attention to the, the main event. Kind of. It's roasting time. It's roasting time. It's roasting season. Roasting season. Yeah. <laughs> Smash it, mate. Smash it, man. Hey, go on then. Now we're back to where we started. I've got myself some souvenir, 100%. That's from my puncture. 20k away from the Eiffel Tower and it was a really great trip. It was tough, I'm absolutely fucking knackered and um, yeah, it's been great, I would like to do it again. Of course, um, it goes without saying, thank you so much for the great work from um, Brass Cancer Now and Classic Challenge for the collaboration for this amazing trip and for those who took part in it and finished it. Like, whether or not you're a support fan or something, it's fine, you know, you made it. And, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press like and subscribe. Till next time.